Oh my gosh, what? Harry throws all the Megan's clothing out as she reveals that she still loves William during Variety interview. A recent report from one outlet has claimed that Meghan Markle was once infuriated with Prince William as the older brother of her husband, Prince Harry. According to the new report from In Touch, Markle was obsessed with the royal family during her college days and had a major crush on Prince William. As the publication had cited an unnamed source who had claimed that the former actress had a poster of Prince William on her dorm wall. As she was in love with William and not Harry, the insider asserted. As the tabloid further insists that the Duchess of Sussex became obsessed with the royal family as early as 15, referencing a photo of Markle posing in front of Buckingham Palace at that age. Allegedly, her college friends knew that she had loved the royals, and her major goal was to be a part of the family. As the source continued, that Markle's dream of snatching Prince William was crushed when he married Kate Middleton, and that is when she allegedly goes with her plan B, where she had married his younger brother, Prince Harry, to become an official part of the royal family. And since William was now unobtainable, Meghan had set her sights on Harry, and then she became a member of the royal family, except with William's brother. As the publication added that Prince Harry was upset when he had found out about this, and when the news had allegedly circulated in the palace, and that Middleton had learned about this, she was also upset, as Markle didn't come out clean to the Duke of Sussex before they got married. In other news, do you know that Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, former suit star and deal or no deal briefcase girl, has a husband? You probably do, because you are a sentiment human being, with opposable thumbs and a Wi-Fi connection. But reading the Duchess's lightest interview, I am starting to wonder if she thinks that we the public might not quite be fully aware of her marital status. In the Variety story, appearing on the magazine's cover, as some beatic second coming, Meghan manages to use the word husband eight times, energetically, and repeatedly seeming intent on reminding readers that she is in fact hitched. If a person didn't know any better and did not have those thumbs or that Wi-Fi, they might be forgiven for thinking this husband was some intensely private individual who do not want to be sucked into his wife's PR vortex and to remain out of sight. And not that it is the fifth in line to the throne, son of King Charles III, and a man whose birth was celebrated with a 41 gun salute, aka Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. Read the variety piece, and something fascinating comes into view. As Harry looks increasingly like an adjunct in his own story. In less than two months, we had had two biggie interviews with Meghan, as both with attended glam photo shoots both putting her designer dresses and photographing her twirling about Gwyneth Patron worthy designer gardens, and yet in neither does her figure much beyond as an occasional guest star at most. Where oh, where has Harry gone? So too, while they both, as a couple, ink those whopping deals with Netflix and Spotify, deals that a one-time cable actress and an unemployed former army officer would definitely have gotten if they did not also happen to have royal titles. As it is the Duchess who has been first out of the blocks with her Spotify series archetypes. It is Meghan who is charging forth, even if her podcast managers to the both boring and deeply self-involved and is currently floundering in the ranks. Only two of the six episodes are in the top 100 episodes in the US coming in the 26th and the 90th spots. And it is Meghan who we have witnessed coming to the media for, including even when the duo possesses together, as it is early October that they released official images taken during the One Young World Summit, in which Harry, in what has become their go-to pose, peers over his wife's shoulder, unintentionally recreating the hilariously photoshopped time cover. And the bottom line is, 
that as things currently stand in the terms of Sussex's output, it is very much the Megan show. Perhaps this is all an elaborate performance piece, commenting on the fact that for millennial women who have been defined by their husbands, and yet, when the reverse happens, we all sit up and take notice. Or perhaps Harry is happily tucked away inside their $20 million mansion, beavering away on his plans for the next Invictus Games, and secretly brewing his own hard settler in their spare sauna. As perhaps this is exactly the division of the PR labor that Harry wants, given that he has not exactly made any secret of his feelings about the press. Whatever the reason may be, why are we getting so much Megan that does not change the fact that the Variety interview should come with a warning over eye roll injuries.